bless the name of the Lord for this wonderful day and I pray that God's blessing will be upon you and the Lord himself will smile on you. You will lack no good thing in the name of Jesus. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. As you know, we do reflect from the Open Heavens Daily Guide written by Pastor E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. The topic we're looking at today is why hunger, why hunger? And the Bible passage is taken from Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 19, verses 23 and 24. The fear of the law leads to life, and he who has it will abide in satisfaction. He will not be visited with evil. A lazy man buries his hand in the bowl and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. A memory verse, Psalm 63 verse 5. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. According to Pastor Adeboye in today's devotion, eh? there are three reasons why a child of God will not be prosperous. And it's important to listen. Firstly, if the individual does not realize that as God's children, he or she is not meant to be poor. I mean, it's a mental thing. Our father is the richest of the richest because he owns everything. Psalm 24 verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and everything that is in it, the world and all his people belong to him. Also, Agai chapter 2 verse 8 says, Silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. So you must have the mentality that you have a rich father. Secondly, if the child of God is using the seed that is meant to be sowed into the kingdom for bread, then he or she will not reap the harvest in his due season. I mean, that's, that's, that's clear. Thirdly, if a child of God does not work hard, then he cannot expect to prosper. Very clear and simple. Proverbs 11, 24 says, There is one who scatters, yet increases more. And there is one who withholds more than is just, but it leads to poverty. Now, in the book of Luke, chapter 5, verses 4 to 7, we read of Peter, James and John, who had been fishing all night, but they were unable to catch anything. We notice here that they were hardworking, as they had been fishing all night. Jesus needed to speak to the multitude who really wanted to listen to him as well. But there was a need. He needed a boat, and Peter made his boat available to him. In this way, he was given to God. For a man who had worked all night, I suppose he must have been very tired and frustrated. So when Jesus needed a boat, he could just have ignored the request. But he made his boat available to Jesus. And in fact, I've mentioned that. If he were a clever businessman, he would have actually negotiated for the boat to be rented so that at least he could make some money. So at the end of, his, of, his, of, his, of Jesus' preaching, Jesus returned the boat and told Peter to let down his net for a catch. And to his amazement, they caught so many fish that the net began to break. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 6, which I love, says, Plant your seed in the morning and keep busy all afternoon, for you don't know if profit will come from one activity or another, or maybe both. Now make sure that you are not found among the three reasons why somebody will not prosper. Rather be among those who will prosper. Think about your mentality. Don't eat your seed. And finally, be hardworking. Our key point, 
The child of a billionaire cannot be starving for what to eat. You are the child of the richest person in the universe. You should not lack any good thing. Just remember always to please him and not yourself. And it will surely be well with you in the name of Jesus. God bless you and have a wonderful day.